Do you have a lot of great ideas, but not exactly sure how to narrow down your ideas to a niche that will get people's attention? Stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to find a niche that can not only get you more followers, but also how you can turn it into a business and profit from it. Hi guys, my name is Carla Milanov, and I'm so excited to be talking about how to find your niche but more importantly, how you can gain traction and even monetize it in the future. But before I uncover how to find your niche, you first need to understand why it's important to niche down. Imagine if my YouTube channel had a bunch of videos that range from traveling, fashion, advice, fitness, business, health, and cars. You as a viewer would be so lost because you don't know what my main focus is on. And if you are confused, you're probably not going to recommend my channel to your friends. Think of it this way, when you go on YouTube, you go primarily because you want to learn or watch something specific, right? It's the same concept here. You want to find a niche and become known as the go-to person for a specific topic. So now that you understand the why, let's talk about the how. So to get started, what you're gonna do is a little brainstorming session to narrow down what niche interests you the most. Maybe it's fitness, maybe it's food, fashion, Whatever it is, write it down. And then after you've written it down, all your category ideas, we're gonna further break it down and narrow in on your specific niche. So this is gonna be like word vomit. Write down any and all things that come to mind in regards to your category. For example, let's say you picked fitness, food, and fashion. Under each category, write down as many ideas for each of those categories. And one thing you're going to notice here is that you're gonna find yourself coming up with a lot more ideas for one category versus another, meaning it's gonna be a lot easier for you to maintain that niche for a longer period of time and also at a consistent level. So after you finish that exercise and you've identified at least one niche where you truly feel you can talk about at a consistent level, it's then time to further niche it down. So let's take fitness for example. You obviously just can't talk about fitness. You need to talk about something that is specific because fitness is just too broad. So now you need to put yourself in your audience's shoes and ask, okay, fitness for who? Who do you really want to target? Maybe you wanna talk about fitness after an injury. So you break it down even further. What about fitness after an injury? What type of injury? Perhaps after surgery. So see, now you broke it down even further, but you are not done yet. Now you need to ask, people who are trying to exercise after surgery, what problems are they facing? What solution can you provide them? Maybe you tell yourself how to work out for the first time after surgery. Now, isn't that a lot more specific on what you offer? Instead of just saying fitness, you can now say, I teach people how to work out after surgery. But it doesn't stop there. Now you need to validate your niche to see if people are actually searching for topics like this. See, a lot of people find a niche, but the one thing they forget to do is validate it. And if you don't validate it, then you are just creating and producing content for fun. You are not getting any traction. And the best way I like to validate my niche is a tool called TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is such a great tool because it shows you how many people are searching for your topic per month. And it'll also tell you the type of people that are searching. And when you search for your specific niche using TubeBuddy, it's going to show you the competition, the search volume, different related searches, and so much more. So before you start focusing all your time and energy into a specific niche, make sure you validate it. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it, share it, comment, and always thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.